People believe that opera is aristocratic, like high, high brow. But what people fail to realize is that opera can be just about anything. I just think that people just have to give it a chance. Music has always been a part of my world. It's, it's just something that's in me that I really can't explain. When I was 13 years old, my choir director looked at me and was like, you need to go to this summer opera program. And I said, okay. My mom thought I was going to a basketball camp and I showed up the first day and I realized this is everything I wanted it to be. Coming from my community, I dealt with a lot of being the only one in opera. So I would tell myself, it's okay. Let yourself be as nerdy about music as you want to be because it'll pay off. And don't let anyone dim your shine. After my undergraduate, I decided to give up music. It was a very dark time in my world, but I realized I, I can't go without through the art of teaching is where I truly found my foundational love for music. It reignited that fire that I felt had been lost. X, Life and Times of Malcolm X, is about the life, story, and journey of Malcolm X. It celebrates blackness and its likeness, not just musically, but also on stage visually. I think that Seattle is trying to plan something really, really amazing. It's gonna be very different. Every time I would progress vocally and as an opera singer, I also would be pushed and challenged and mentored by an educator. I wanted to have that impact on my students as well as still find myself on the stage performing. The one thing that gives me the most joy about being at Western and about this experience is that I don't just share it with myself, but I share it with my students. I think that it takes everyone to work together and I'm so honored to be able to do this. So I'm really, really proud to be here and I'm proud to represent Western in this way.